Gold Rush Update On Gold Rush since the show's very first episode, building his mining career from the ground up, starting as a teenager working in his family's mines. Parker has spent years uncovering more than just gold beneath the rugged terrain of Alaska. The longer he's been digging, the more incredible discoveries he's made, and some of those finds have been truly surprising. Mining isn't just about striking gold. There's no telling what might be hidden beneath layers of soil and rock at a dig site. Parker and his team have encountered some unexpected treasures while excavating. In fact, Parker once unearthed something that many people only dream of finding. A well-preserved set of woolly mammoth tusks perfectly hidden away in the permafrost. During an interview, Parker shared his excitement over the rare discovery. We found some mammoth tusks, which was really cool. They're preserved because they're ivory and they were buried in the permafrost. So the weather doesn't really get to them. Some of those came out in beautiful shape. This discovery of mammoth tusks is not just an incredible archaeological find, it's a rare glimpse into Earth's ancient past woolly mammoths which roamed the Earth during the Ice Age, began going extinct around 14,000 to 10,000 years ago. Although a small population survived as recently as 4,000 years ago, these massive creatures once dominated the frozen landscapes of the Arctic. But as the climate changed, so did their fate. However, due to the unique preservation conditions in places like Alaska and Siberia, their remains, especially tusks, have been found in remarkable condition, allowing us to still uncover pieces of their story today. The woolly mammoth, also known as the Siberian mammoth, was one of the most iconic creatures of the Ice Age, and their well-preserved remains, particularly tusks, are highly sought after these tusks are made of ivory and a perfectly preserved set can fetch an impressive price, sometimes going for over a million dollars each. While mammoth tusks aren't entirely uncommon in Alaska, their value remains high due to the rarity of such well-preserved finds, despite the lucrative value attached to these toys. Parker Schnabel has chosen not to sell them in the world of mining, where gold is king. You might expect such a rare find to be cashed in but Parker had other plans. I usually keep them. He admitted you're allowed to sell them, but you need a couple of permits to export them out of the territory. I think they're so cool I had to keep them for Parker. The tusks represent more than just a financial windfall. They're a piece of history, something that connects him to the past in a way that gold simply doesn't. For those unfamiliar with the process, selling mammoth tusks isn't as simple as finding them and cashing in the sale of such rare ivory requires several permits and approvals, especially when exporting them out of Alaska. These regulations ensure that the remains of such ancient creatures are handled responsibly. However, Parker's decision to keep his find demonstrates his appreciation for the historical significance and the rarity of the discovery. It's easy to see why Parker would choose to keep such a unique treasure with the success of his gold mining operations. Parker doesn't need to rely on selling rare finds like mammoth tusks. Instead, he can enjoy owning a piece of natural history that not many people can claim to possess. Owning a set of well-preserved mammoth tusks is a bragging right few can top, and it surely sparks curiosity and conversation among guests. Mining has a way of uncovering more than what's expected, and Parker Schnabel's career is proof that while gold may be the ultimate goal, it's the unexpected discoveries along the way that make the journey memorable. Musks, for instance, are a reminder of a world long gone, buried beneath the Earth's surface, waiting for someone like Parker to unearth them and bring them back into the light. Interestingly, the discovery of mammoth remains has even led scientists to consider genetic resurrection with some researchers attempting to bring the woolly mammoth back to life using surviving DNA until that becomes a reality. Well-preserved fossils and tusks are the closest we can get to experiencing these majestic creatures. For Parker, the mammoth tusks are just one of the many highlights in his successful mining career. As he continues to mine for gold on Gold Rush, it's clear that his journey is far from over, and who knows what other treasures he'll find along the way, whether it's gold, ancient fossils, or other unexpected surprises? Parker Schnabel has proven that mining can reveal much more than riches. It can uncover pieces of history that connect us to the distant past. Thank you for watching this video.